Netflix's Castlevania animated series and its successor, Castlevania Nocturne, have been massive hits, with both fans and critics praising their faithful adaptations and intense storylines. Now, rumors are swirling about the potential for a live-action project, capitalizing on the incredible popularity of these vampire-hunting sagas. With the recent renewal of Nocturne and the wealth of untapped lore in the Castlevania universe, it seems likely that Netflix might expand its reach with a live-action series or film. Here's everything we know about the movies. The setting and characters of Castlevania would lend themselves well to a live-action format, especially with the mystique of the Infinite Corridor and figures like Saint Germain. The corridor itself offers endless possibilities for cross-dimensional adventures, historical backdrops, and encounters with strange beings, something that would translate beautifully into the realm of live-action. Casting rumors are already a hot topic, with fan speculation that Johnny Depp could potentially bring St. Germain to life. Known for his enigmatic performances, Depp would be a great fit for the charismatic and complex time traveler. Alongside him, there's talk of Jamie Campbell Bower as Grant Dynasty, a fan-favorite character from Castlevania III Dracula's Curse who was notably absent from the animated series. Bauer's experience with dark supernatural roles would bring a grounded edge to the acrobatic rogue, whose pirate origins could add a thrilling new dimension to the story. Meanwhile, Ana de Armas as Carmilla is another casting choice that's generating buzz. With Carmilla's rich backstory and strong presence as a powerful vampire, de Armas could bring a new level of intensity and depth to the character, making her a more complex and formidable antagonist. Carmilla, with her history rooted in Gothic literature, would be a compelling focal point in a live-action adaptation, especially given the character's expanded role in Netflix's animated series. One more casting choice that has been surfacing is Ray Fiennes as Death. An 11th hour addition to the Netflix animated show, the Grim Reaper is as iconic in the Castlevania franchise as Dracula himself. One of Dracula's most menacing comrades, the two share a close bond that goes back centuries, making Death a character deserving of a prominent role in the live-action adaptation. Death has appeared as one of the game's bosses since the very first title in the series, making him a staple of the Castlevania lore. It would be a disservice to the franchise to exclude him from a live-action adaptation, especially since he plays a crucial role in the narrative as the one responsible for most of Dracula's resurrections. His presence adds depth to Dracula's character, emphasizing the themes of mortality and the cyclical nature of life and death that permeate the series. Ray Fiennes has portrayed many memorable characters throughout his career, and his turn as the Dark Lord Voldemort in the Harry Potter series is arguably among his best. His ability to embody complex and menacing villains makes him an ideal choice for the role of death in a live-action Castlevania movie. Fiennes has an almost supernatural talent for bringing a chilling intensity to his characters, as seen in his portrayal of Francis Dollarhide in Red Dragon or Chef Slowick in The Menu. That kind of terrifying, psychopathic energy is precisely what we need for the Castlevania incarnation of the Grim Reaper. Imagine Fiennes delivering haunting lines with that signature gravitas, portraying death as a figure that is both sinister and captivating. His ability to convey a sense of ancient wisdom and malevolence would make for a compelling antagonist, one that not only challenges the protagonists physically, but also embodies the philosophical weight of the battles they face. Death's manipulative nature and his deep-rooted connection to Dracula would allow Fiennes to explore the character's motivations, enriching the overall narrative of the live-action adaptation. Other iconic characters, like Soma Cruz from Aria of Sorrow and Gabriel Belmont from Lords of Shadow, could further deepen in live-action. Soma's internal battle against his destiny as Dracula's reincarnation and Gabriel's tragic transformation into Dracula would add layers of dark drama and moral conflict, appealing to fans and newcomers. Netflix could explore the Belmont family legacy by focusing on characters like Simon Belmont and Leon Belmont, giving fans a chance to see the iconic vampire killer Whip in action and explore the Belmont's cursed history. On the flip side, Soma Cruz and Genya Arikado, central characters in the Castlevania universe, 
present an ideal narrative opportunity for a Netflix live-action series or movie. As Dracula's reincarnation, Soma wields the power of dominance, which empowers him to control the souls of defeated monsters. This unique ability not only gives him formidable strength, but also complicates his journey as he grapples with the darker aspects of his heritage. Soma's struggle with his identity and destiny forms the crux of a compelling story that could resonate deeply with audiences. The potential series could explore Soma's encounters with various characters, including the deranged missionary Graham Jones, who presents a contrasting view of faith and zealotry against the backdrop of a world filled with monsters. Graham's fanaticism adds a layer of moral ambiguity to the narrative, challenging Soma's values and beliefs as he seeks to understand his own purpose. Moreover, Arikado's duality as both a mentor and a mysterious figure provides an intriguing dynamic. His true identity as Alucard, the son of Dracula, would create tension and complexity in their relationship. Soma's internal battle against Dracula's influence serves as a central theme, reflecting his quest to assert his own will and identity in the face of overwhelming darkness. This struggle could be visually and emotionally captivating, illustrating not just the physical confrontations with Dracula's minions, but also the psychological torment that comes from fighting against one's destiny. The series could offer a nuanced exploration of power and responsibility, showcasing how Soma must learn to wield his abilities wisely while resisting the temptation to embrace the darkness within. The proposed Netflix series would promise a fresh perspective on the eternal struggle against darkness, fueled by power, destiny, and self-discovery. By delving into Soma's relationships with other characters, including his evolving bond with Genya Arikado, the narrative could highlight themes of friendship and trust as they face adversaries together. The dynamic between Soma's youthful idealism and Arikado's more seasoned wisdom could provide rich character development and emotional depth, enhancing the overall story arc. With the rich lore of the Castlevania universe, this live-action adaptation has the potential to capture both the grand battles against evil and the intimate struggles of its characters, offering viewers an epic yet personal journey that reflects the complexities of good versus evil. The incorporation of elements such as the Infinite Corridor and various timelines could also create thrilling plot twists and unexpected revelations, keeping audiences engaged and eager for more. And with so many characters to choose from, Netflix has the potential to create an incredible live-action series that's both visually stunning and emotionally compelling. From the dark ambiance of Dracula's castle to intense action sequences, a live-action Castlevania could bring new life to these beloved characters and stories. Whether it's Saint Germain, Carmilla, or the Belmonts, fans would undoubtedly welcome a new chapter in the Castlevania saga. And that's a wrap for today's videos, folks. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Let us know what you think about a potential Castlevania live-action adaptation. Who would you cast, and which characters do you think deserve the spotlight? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this content. If it resonated with you, please take a moment to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to our channel for more amazing content.